Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. 513 on this Friday morning. If you missed the latest drought designation, here it is. Not a lot of rain really to capitalize within the last week. That moderate drought kind of continuing to hold spot in Pender and parts of Onslow County. Uh, more of the abnormal dry designations spreading throughout the central parts of North Carolina. This weekend's rain, though, uh, could very well make a dent in some of those drought designations. We'll ask our computer model to tally up some of these rainfall projections and pretty widespread one to two inch swaths of rain possible across a good chunk of the lower Cape Fear, if not all of the lower Cape Fear. And that's likely going to start a little later on today and even parts of tonight. Thickening clouds, shifting winds. You're going to notice our high temps early on in the day and temps sinking through the 60s and 50s later in the day. Winds starting from the south and following the front coming to the northeast. And those winds are going to pack a little bit of a punch. Temps a few degrees cooler. And when you factor in the rain, just kind of makes it raw and damp and chilly. Of course, upper 40s, lower 50s tonight. Those cooler 40s inland and temps lucky to get back to the 50s tomorrow. If we can, they're going to be spots that are likely stuck in the 40s, mainly to the north. Some wind gusts near 30 miles an hour possible tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night that you'll want to keep top of mind. Outside we go to a partly cloudy West Shore home. First alert sky cam high atop the Murkison building 65 degrees at the airport. Winds calm for the time being. Notice your dew points not far removed from the air temperature and the relative humidity on the up and up as well. Pushing in on that 93% uh, or pushing toward 100%. And of course, when that happens, we have the fog concerns. And there are some foggy spots on the map. So a couple extra minutes would certainly serve you well getting from point A to point B. So going to take you temperature wise a little bit forward. And you see the drastic changes from where we start to where we finish over the course of the next 12 to 14 hours. So those 50s certainly going to be more prevalent a little closer to 6, 7 o'clock, but 60s and 70s to start and wind shifting eventually out of the northeast. Here we go back into the 40s. Not much of a fall once we get past sunset and not much of a rise once we get past sunrise. So highs limited to the 40s for some around 50 for parts of the highway 701 corridor and we'll say some lower to middle 50s a little closer to the shoreline makes sense. It's a little farther south, right? Uh, but temps gradually will start to warm up as we head through uh, Sunday and early next week. So the Doppler sweep again featuring showers, even a few thunderstorms well to the northwest of I-95 across the rest of the Carolinas. Some additional scattered shower coverage up near Charlotte, Greensboro, and even coming into parts of Raleigh here in the next little bit. Going to model things out for you hour by hour. And as that front pushes through, Kind of gives the rain a good avenue in which to meander and develop and they're the biggest and best chance of rain really going to come Saturday. We're talking moderate to heavy rainfall, pretty widespread across the region, continuing through Saturday night and even parts of Sunday. So likely sunrise services, if not actively raining, will feature some damp grounds as Easter egg hunts. Maybe best to do inside this year, just based on what we're seeing. There will be a couple of breaks, of course, from the rain, so it won't be consistent all weekend long, uh, but certainly a drier sentiment early next week through the middle of the week. Mostly sunny skies we will say an outside chance for a shower. Temps eventually closing in on 80 late in the week and through parts of next weekend. Bill.